April the 2nd, a day that probably means nothing for many, but a very special day for lots of families. It hurts to think that despite what you believe, lots of parents cannot see a smile on the face of their children. They cannot even go to the park to play with them. April the 2nd is World Autism Awareness Day. It is hard to believe how widespread autism is in the world. It affects one child every 250, 40 every 1,000, 4,000 every 1 million. That makes more than 4 million every billion of children. In total, in the world, over 28 million people suffer from autism. That's more than Australia's entire population. Stop thinking how to change the world. Now it's time to do it. We're Italian Ingenium team and we're presenting the Fifth Element project. One of the World Millennium Goal is to ensure that by 2015, children everywhere will be able to complete a full course of primary schooling. As an overview of our project, let's examine four different point of views, starting from the problem we're addressing. Every autistic person is deeply different from the other and has particular needs. Moreover, autistic children lack in motivation and interest in the world around them. Children with the autistic spectrum disease whose characteristics are difficulties in relationships and in communication and uh, a disease in social interaction often behave differently from other children. Autistic children have shown great attraction toward technology devices. Technology is undoubtedly useful because these children are very keen on everything that is visual and for their social ability acquisition. We've set very specific and ambitious goals for the Fifth Element project to create interest and motivation in the children, to foster movement and physical activity, to help them improve communication and to promote social interaction by teamwork. Technology cannot heal but can help people bypass disability effects. We faced three big challenges during the development. We wanted our platform to be really effective in doing therapy and assistance, but we also wanted it to be simple, as therapists and relatives are not technicians. Overall, however, we looked for a great adaptability, as every child is deeply different from the other. Our approach aims at leveraging two key points, the use of natural interest of children in technology to promote therapy, and the support given to the therapist during their normal work. Ours is a two-step solution. First, the creation of games with specific goals, customizable on the individual child. Second, the provision to the therapist of the ability to give remote support for therapy assistance. Let's now see the main feature of the project. Every component can be deeply personalized by the teacher on the individual child with different level of difficulty to adapt to the different characteristic of the disability reusing standard AAC elements. We provide different kinds of games based on voice and just recognition and overall on body interaction. We implemented four kinds of game patterns. Sequential games are focused on teaching a sequence of action. Quiz games are flexible and adaptable to many teaching activities and basing on multiple choices allows to create very interactive stories. Shark. Child. Music games are focused on motor aspects and based on the emotion and the involvement of music. Interaction games are focused on communication and social interaction. Each game is independent to the other, but to maximize the use of code, we have created a component called Kinect Manager that implements the main functions of interaction with the Kinect. Kinect Manager interacts with our voice and gesture recognizer. Voice Recognizer is based on Microsoft Speech Platform and it automatically produces a grammar based on the game settings and then recognizes voice comments. Gesture Recognizer Library is composed by Gesture Recognizer and Gesture Manager, which according to the context associates the gesture with an action. Many times, children and families do not live close to a specialized center or cannot go there often. For this reason, we have made sure that the child could repeat the therapy at home. 
At the end of each session, teachers can insert notes about child response and comments for the parents to constantly keep them up to date with their child progresses. At home, parents can download the game settings and repeat the game with the children very easily. However, parents are not therapists specialized and often need support. For this reason, we introduce remote therapy. This also allows you to scale to a large number of children. Therapists can supervision children while they play with the app at home, can communicate with parents and remotely change the game settings to suit the child's needs. The Fifth Element project leverages many of Microsoft's latest state-of-art technologies, such as Windows Azure for Elastic and High Performance Hosting and Storage Services, Kinect for Windows for magic functionality like gesture, voice and body recognition, and Windows 8 to support at the same time two different platforms like tablet and traditional PCs. Our solution is designed to meet some complex application requirements like real-time communication, data sharing, high performance and scalability. It is based on client and server components. On both sides, components are divided into two categories, application and services. On the client side, we have game application and services for personalization of games and data sharing. On the server side, we provide an administration web portal and middleware and database services for communication and data storage. Let's explain the workflow of our application. The first use case is registration. Children and therapists get registered on the web portal, hosted on Windows Azure platform. For each registration, the system generates a user profile with different functionality, and the website repository is a SQL Azure database. The second use case deals with monitoring. After the registration, children and therapists can interact with our services, hosted on the cloud too, such as the online therapy journal, which collect feedback and progress data from both. The repository is again a SQL Azure database. This allows both therapists and parents to monitor all the activities the children are undertaking while playing and practicing. Our third use case is the game itself. The desktop clients allows children to perform many educational games developed with Kinect, customizable by different level of difficulty through the Kinect Manager component to evolve with Childer. The fourth and last case is sharing. It is designed to work in the therapy center as well as at home where the shared services allow therapists to monitor and interact with children during the activities. Shared services are composed by a client and server components. On the server side, we have a middleware component which manages all the communication for data, video and skeleton between different clients and points. On the client side, we have the Kinect share component that acts as a proxy between game and middleware component, manages local connection, collects data from games, packs it and ships it to the middleware. The therapists try to give different and new input every time, but the children doesn't live with them. So this kind of uh, technology can improve their skills at home or at school with friends and family. 15 Element project includes funny games that can support development, promote learning and support therapy. We've designed the project to suit many different aspects of autism and to scale to many people thanks to remote support. The Fifth Element project offers the opportunity to customize application scenarios depending on medical centers and the children's needs. The strength is represented by the opportunity to bring the therapy not only in medical centers, but also at home. We already have two specialized centers interested in testing the application with children, and their feedback will be very valuable in improving and extending our work. This overview shows an estimate of European funding in healthcare. Europe spends an average of 840 trillion euros on healthcare. Our project sits in a slightest market, the collective services, where only 2% of the funding represents the cost for new technologies and services. Approximately 1% of the whole funding is for specialized services like remote therapy, and there is still more than 8 trillion market share. Thanks to the Fifth Element project, for the first time, everyone can afford it. We provide world's first solution for specific remote therapy for approximately only $5 a month per child. Our roadmap? We already completed a couple of fundamental steps. From concept to development, we set ourselves the challenge to making technology a tool capable of improving the quality of human life, and we're succeeding. After the first phase of testing and improvement, the next goal is now to generalize the framework to suit many other pathologies and rehabilitations. And not so far from now, we'll be ready for large-scale distribution and sale of our platform.
A special thanks, obviously, goes to you for wanting to change the world with us.